Hello, today in front of me I have Xiaomi Redmi Note 11 Pro Plus smartphone and in today's video we would like to show the best display settings to change on this device. So first of all let's open up the settings and head straight for the display category. The first uh, configuration that we highly recommend that you try playing with, that you try changing is called reading mode and once activated, as we will see now, it filters out the excess amounts of blue light, therefore making the interface color colors significantly warmer. Uh, here we can set up some custom schedule for it, so it will be automatically activated and respectively deactivated uh, between the certain time frames, so turn off time, turn, off, turn on time, turn off time, just like so. Uh, here is also this mode contains the paper version, which as you can see, let me just go to its configurations, allows you to uh, change the texture and regulate the color temperature, so you can make the colors colder or warmer. And in here we can even switch to the uh, light colors, or even make everything look black and white, just like so. Therefore, it basically just allows you to, um, allows your eyes to not get tired very quickly once you have, uh, well, once you're using your phone for long periods of times, or even if you are using this particular device for reading something as the ele electronic book, you can set the black and white color scheme and conveniently read without your eyes, without, well, the, your eyes getting drastically tired, just like so. The next setting that we would like to show you is called the refresh rate and uh, let's go ahead and expand it. In here we have two values to choose from. We can either go with standard refresh rate of 60 Hz and get uh, well better uh, battery duration. Or, well, your device will uh, can be used uh, for a longer period of time on a single battery charge or you can go for the 120 Hz value which will get you way smoother and uh, well, more pleasant animations and overall visual experience, but at the same time will also drain the battery faster. Uh, this refresh rate page also has this convenient preview pictures that can uh, that allows you to see like the difference between those two values. Next, we are moving on to the other category of settings, which is always on display and lock screen. In here, the first setting we would highly recommend that you try playing with this all called always on display. Once turned on, it will uh, show some set amount, uh, I mean some set content, like time, date, battery state, once your screen is locked. So let me lock it. And that's how the AOD looks, basically. Here we have very uh, generous configurations and settings that you can play with. So this uh, feature is very highly customizable and uh, you can personalize it to a very uh, well, big extent. Uh, here we can show, as you can see, the display items. So, or basically should I say, it allows us to decide whether the AOD will be shown once the low power mode is active. Here we have different kinds of customizations and custom themes, just like so. For example, I want to change it to this astronaut. We can change the text colors and once chosen the theme, we are all also able to edit the content that is going to be shown over here. So we can either show or do not show the battery or notifications, just like so. Alrighty, so let me just block my screen and demonstrate this changes. So basically that is pretty much everything that there is to the AOD feature. And we are moving on to the last uh, configurations that we wanted to show you in this video. It is called notification effect. And it allows you to, uh, well, decide what, how does the sides of your lock screen will look once you receive a new notification. There are quite a few options to choose from. So pulse red, pulse uh, blue and the starlight, which I like the most, so I'll keep it at a starlight. And that basically means that uh, once you are getting the new notification with your display off, that's how it will look. Alrighty, so that was it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and bye-bye.